Today, we're going to talk about five steps to take for a miserable and unnecessarily difficult transition from the military. The transition is complex and everybody's transition is unique. However, I regularly see people take these steps upon their transition, which leads me to believe it must be the best approach. So if you want a miserable exit from the military, take these steps. Step number one is debt. Make sure you follow everybody else and accumulate massive amounts of debt that will outlast your military contract. I'm talking about six year car notes, credit card debt, failing to pay off student loans, and any other kind of debt on long-term liabilities. If you want your finances to be a huge strain upon your transition, make sure you are accumulating as much debt as possible before you EAS from the military. Step number two is savings. Make sure you spend every penny you earn while in the military and transition out with no money to your name. Having a financial safety net is for suckers. So make sure every dollar you earn that isn't going to pay off your car is going towards investing in something super safe like Dogecoin or Luna. Having no money in your savings account is a great way to ensure that you are forced to take the first crappy job you are offered out of the military. This then ensures that you stay miserable and stagnant for years to come. Step number three is have no plan. Another great step towards having a miserable transition is to expect the stars to align as soon as you get your glorious DD-214. Step number four is don't build a network. The best way to ensure success is to go at it alone. With all your military training and qualifications, you'll be all set to climb the ladder of success with zero help from others. So make sure you stick to yourself and never expand your circle to ensure that you have an easy path to success and the career of your dreams. Step number five is to use your GI Bill. The last step to having a miserable transition from the military is to use your GI Bill as a means of getting paid. We all know the real value of the GI Bill is in the monthly BAH payments. So make sure you take the easiest classes possible that don't go towards a credible or worthwhile degree just to make sure your hourly rate while using the GI Bill is as high as possible. After using up your 36 months of education benefits, you'll be well positioned to get a six-figure job in management somewhere just because you're a veteran. Hopefully it goes without saying, this is all a joke. If you really want to have a successful military transition, you should really be doing the exact opposite of everything I just said. However, I was not joking when I said I have seen many follow these steps over the years. Following everything here and falling into these traps will make your transition enormously difficult and last a very long time. Get off on the right foot by making good choices at the beginning of your contract and everything from there will be that much easier. While this time may have been a satirical perspective on the military transition, there are many more videos to come about how to transition smoothly and start your transition from day one of your contract to ensure success in the long term. So see you guys next week. Peace.